I just had the greatest idea. What if I set up a website and sold stuff on the internet? Everyone says it's so easy. Well, you're in luck, my friend. I got everything you need to start that internet business of yours right here in this office. Here we go. What you're gonna need first is a website. You're gonna have this website. This has all the tools you need to put together your fancy new website. You're also gonna need to set up some marketing funnels. You're gonna have these funnels to collect your customers, and then they go in and you make lots of money. Are you, you kidding me? Funnels there. The then you gotta have some good easy. writing. You gotta have some good emails. You gotta have some good sales letters. So you're gonna need some books on marketing. We'll get those for you right there. And then you're gonna need what we call a very important thing, an autoresponder. This autoresponder is going to take your customers and it's going to send them emails you automatically guy? so that you get paid. You're gonna need this autoresponder right here. This here needs to connect to your website right like this, all right? Then, in order to sell your stuff, you are going to need a shopping cart and have that shopping cart to make your order forms and everything like that all fancy and whatnot. You're also going to need a Seriously? server. You're gonna take this server, and this is gonna have all your stuff on it so that no one gets left out. It's gonna show them it's everything. Back to the, it's gonna have everything there. It's then back you're gonna to take the old that server, me. and no you're gonna connect it with all this to stuff. your marketing funnel. Then when people come in, they buy stuff and you get paid. Then, we're gonna have to have some tools. Gotta have tools to fix all this so up and put it all together. Then, overloaded. you're gonna have to get something to collect your Facebook fans. There's gotta be an easier way. You're gonna have to have some tracking things so you see what people are clicking on, what they're buying, me? and what people are doing on your website. Then you're gonna have to find the best ads and cut and paste those ads and put them in the funnel and the server. But you gotta do it based on the books, right? Next, you're gonna need a big pot of coffee because this is gonna take you weeks and weeks of staying up late to set up. But what if there was a better way? What if there was some simple tools that you can use to start your business without all this junk? We're gonna show you the best tools to use and we're starting right now. Hey guys, it's Marcus here and welcome inside. I hope you enjoyed that little fun video intro we did. And today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna map out all the tools that you would need to start an internet business. Now I want you to remember that starting your affiliate business or internet business, you don't need to have all these tools up front. What you wanna do is you wanna get in the habit of getting tools as needed. So as you need various tools, then you go get them, right? When you decide to build a mailing list, then you get an autoresponder. When you decide to sell something, then you get your shopping cart. So we're gonna to talk to you about how all that works. And depending on where you're at in your business, you might be ready to get all these things or you might be just starting and we're gonna show you how to do that. And if you like these kind of videos, I wanna make sure that you subscribe and click the little bell notification icon because we're gonna talk all about internet business and shopping carts and membership sites and everything so that nothing's left out. I hope that you can follow along. If not, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a list of all the tools mapped out just like we draw on the blackboard over at affiliatedude.com slash tools. So at affiliatedude.com slash tools, you can go there and you'll get all the tools and the links and everything like that. So let's go ahead and dive right in and talk about what we need. First of all, if you're starting an internet business, you gotta have a domain name, okay? This is kind of like the basic, you gotta have this. Don't skimp, don't save, don't worry about this, go get it, right? First of all, you need a domain name, all right? This is like your, kind of like your business storefront, if you will, right? Your domain name is kind of like your where you're gonna put your business, okay? So this will be something like I have www.affiliatedude.com or affiliatemarketingdude.com. Whatever your business is or whatever niche market you're in, this would be your domain. Okay, now what I tell people to do is I tell them to start with a hub site so they have somewhere to put everything and we'll have that on affiliatedude.com slash tools as well. All right, so first of all, you need your www name. I prefer to have a .com name however some of them are taken, so if you have to get a different one, that's okay too. But I like to stick to .net and .org. Now next, once you have your domain, you have a name. That's all you have. Next, what you gotta do is you gotta get yourself web hosting. Okay, web hosting, web 
hosting. All right, and again, we have our recommendations over at affiliatedude.com slash tools. Web hosting is like where you store everything. Okay, so you're gonna get your domain name and then it's gonna ask you, well, where do you want it to go? And your host is gonna give you two different addresses where it's gonna go. You'll punch those in, it takes a couple of seconds, and then boom, you now have a folder on the web with all your files and you can install different things, different content management software, or you could simply use it to host static files, right? It's just like a folder on your computer, only it's on the web and everyone can see it. All right, so what you have here is your domain's gonna link to it. Now your domain name, uh, if you go through the hosting that we teach you to go through, they give you a free domain name. Uh, but if you don't get them free, it's like $8 to 15 bucks or something like that, or $8 to 15. Okay, if you get web hosting, usually it's about $6 a month until you get into like really big stuff. Uh, you know, if you have to like serve big massive video files or something like that, you might want something more robust, but for the majority, 99% of the internet marketing people, it's gonna be about $6 per month, so that's pretty cheap. Okay, now you have this and you're like, okay, cool, I got a domain name and I got web hosting, what's next? Well, next you choose what we call our content management system. Okay, content management system would be like, okay, do I want my site to be a blog? That's what I highly recommend. Do I want it to be a static site? Do I want it to be a membership site, what do I want? What I tell most people to do is start with a blog. You can start with a blog and you can start with WordPress, okay? WordPress is a open source, I believe it's open source, I think that's the right word for it. It's a software that goes on your server. Now this sounds really complicated, but in reality, the web host gives you the software and they give you one button to push that installs it on your site. So like one click and boom, you're done, right? Like literally from the time you get your domain to the time you set this up could be like literally less than five minutes, okay? And the blog with the WordPress is free, okay? Now there's all kinds of tools and plugins and things. Some of them are free, some of them cost money, just depends on what you wanna do. All right, so now you got this. You're like, okay, I got my domain, I got my web host, that's great. Next, what we wanna do, we got our content management system. Next, we could start posting and start doing things and everything like that. Now, you can start at this point, okay? You can go to affiliatedude.com slash tools. You can set up according to this. It'll show you how to do it. And you can actually start to run affiliate offers and start to make money, which is great, right? I can make a little blog. Maybe I make it about um, traveling or video cameras or mortgages or whatever. And I put some affiliate offers on there and hey, I'm only in this game about $6 a month, which is like nothing, okay? If I get the free domain. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to look at here is several different things. A lot of people say that the money is in the list, okay? Now what's a list? A list is a mailing list. It's a way to collect names and emails of people who visit your site so they can market to them over and over and over again and make lots of money. Personally, I've made millions of dollars with my mailing list and I make money every single day with my mailing list. So what you gotta have is what we call an autoresponder, okay? Autoresponder, again, uh, affiliatedude.com slash tools, go there, you're gonna learn about this. So you got your autoresponder. Now your autoresponder, you could plug into your blog, they give you a little code, you put it on your blog, and boom, hey, there you go, you can now collect names and emails, very easy. Autoresponders are usually about $17 a month, okay? Some of the more fancy ones cost more, but that's about what you're looking at. Now, very easy to plug and play. You can use our tools to put your autoresponder on your site using blogs and everything like that, or you could check out other ones as well, okay? We have a list of our top rated autoresponders over at affiliatedude.com slash tools. Okay, so now we got the autoresponder, we got this, we're ready to go, right? I can set up my site, put my opt-in box on it, only takes a couple minutes. Again, very easy to do, very easy to integrate with your content management WordPress, Boom, you're off to the races. Okay, now let's say, hey, you got this thing going. You got a mailing list. You're sending out emails to your people. You got your blog. Uh, people are coming in. Great, wonderful. Let's say you decide that you want to sell your own product. You're like, hey, all these people are, are buying stuff as affiliates, or maybe I have my own book, or maybe I have my own coaching program, or I want to sell something on my own. Next, what you're going to need, okay, we got our domain, we got our web host, uh, we got our blog on there, and we have our autoresponder. Next, what we want to do is we want to add some kind of payment option, okay? A lot of people, we look at it, and these are what we call merchant accounts, okay? Merchant account is what 
allows you to take money via credit card or whatever it is, and then it goes and it buys something, the person buys something, and it goes into your account, okay? So it's like, hey, I, now people can pay me with their credit card and I get it in my account. A lot of these you'll look at, there's popular ones like PayPal and Stripe and stuff like this. Um, good options, not the best options, we have better ones for you, um, but we can look at that and you can sign up. I think PayPal and Stripe are actually free. They just take a percentage, they take like 3% of whatever your sales are. So if you sell like $1,000 in a month, they're only going to take like 30 bucks or something. Okay. It's only pay if you make the money, which is cool. Okay. So the merchant account here, but now you have this merchant account. Let's say you got PayPal, Stripe, or a standard merchant account, or maybe you're even using like ClickBank or something. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need somehow to get the merchant account linked up with an order form so people can pay you. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we gotta have either a shopping cart, okay, shopping cart software, cart software, or something like a um, complete solution. They have all these customer management solutions uh, that integrate with lots of different merchant accounts and things like that, and pretty easy to set up. Again, it gets kind of complicated if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't have the tools. So again, I'll refer you, if you're looking for this stuff and you want to sell your own product, uh, we have some solutions for you that will work. So the merchant account is now going to connect. Now what's going to happen is most merchant accounts will give you a link to order form, order form. Okay, they'll give you a link to your order form and then you'll just put that link somewhere on your blog or you could put it in the emails on your autoresponder or whatever and pretty easy, right? You got a link to your order form. Now the downside to having a link to an ugly order form is one, it's hosted on a different site. Two, they're not very customizable. Sometimes they're really ugly. And three, you can't really automate things, right? Because sometimes we'll have this and I'll be like, okay, well, I want to start a membership site, right? Personally, I've made millions of dollars on membership sites and we look at that we're like okay well what if I could link my merchant account to my customer management software okay and this is where it holds all their data and then I could set up a membership site okay really cool okay then there's tools that you can do all this stuff on and we'll talk to you about the done for you tools the tools that do everything in just a minute okay so you got your content management system and what will happen is someone will go, right? They come in, they go to your domain from your ad or just telling them to go to your domain, which brings them to your website. Okay, your website's got all the WordPress bloggy stuff and then you're like, oh cool, this is great. And then they like, I'm gonna put my name and email in the box. They go into your merch database, which means you can now email them whenever the heck you want, obviously within reason. You don't wanna do it like a thousand times a day. Usually like a couple times a week is good. Okay, they go into your database. This is all stored on your autoresponder. Okay, then you have your merchant account, which is linked to your uh, credit management software or uh, customer management software, okay? You're gonna have this order form. You can put the order form over here on your blog. You're like, hey, check this out. I got this new blog post for you. And on the bottom of the blog post, it says, here's a link, push the big button. Boom, the button's going to take them to that order form. They're gonna order, okay? You get the money in your account, usually within one to three days, which is really cool. I know my merchant account's the next day, which is awesome, right? They order and then boom, it's gonna send a thing up here to the software and it's gonna say well John ordered John Bobo Skipjack ordered that's his real name okay I apologize to someone with that actual name and you feel offended maybe we'll give you something right so we have this here and we're like okay now it goes there and it says okay Bob just ordered okay and it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna make a username and password for Bob and it'll send them to your membership site and it'll be like, hey, you can order, right? There you go, you ordered, and boom, now you can log in, you can access all the wonderful things, and it stores everything all fancy, which could also be a portion of your blog that's locked, right? Really easy, so it's pretty easy to set up. I get that this stuff can sometimes be overwhelming, and sometimes it's like crazy because you get in this and you're like, well, now I need to have blog themes, now I gotta have blog plugins, now I gotta have this, now I gotta learn to write emails that are gonna sell, now I need to learn to write sales copy that's going to sell. And what we look at is there's a lot going on here. Okay, now most people are going to stick with the basics. Hey, let's get this there. Let's get it so we can order and let's grow as we go along. Now, there are 
two services that we have that I all have found that do all this and have the marketing involved in them. And what I have is I have those over at affiliatedude.com slash tools. There's two links at the top. You can go there. Those are the done for you services. Now these are really cool because they integrate with everything, right? So all you have to do is literally get a domain name, Okay, you get the domain name, you bypass everything else. Now, I'd still recommend you do a blog, which is cool, but you don't have to, right? You bypass everything else, and now this is like your master, okay, your master tool. Okay, so you're gonna go get your master tool and it's gonna link everything. So you take your merchant account number, boom, you plug it in, done. It makes all the order forms for you. They host on your site. It sets it up so it does the membership software. It's everything's done in one and it's really easy and it's got your autoresponder in it. It's everything. So there's done for you tools that have that or all in one tools, I should say, that have that. And what we'll do is we'll talk to you as well because they make your life a lot easier, right? The more integrations you can have, the less legwork of like trying to figure things out, right? Because you got to get to what actually makes you money. And what actually makes you money is getting your sales message in front of people, getting your site in front of people, talking to your market via blog posts, videos, uh, emails, whatever it is, talking to your market is what the most profitable task is, right? So we got to look at this stuff and we're like, okay, we got all this stuff, right? We can have plugins, we can have all this, or we can go through and do a one size fits all. Hey, this is gonna do everything for you. Now, there are tons of these, okay? I've been using one, a, a all-in-one type solution, and I use it kind of hybrid because it's not as all-in-one as the ones that are out now, uh, but I've been using it for years, and it's really good, and it does the autoresponder, it does the uh, sales pages, it does the order links, um, but I had to kind of like mess around with it to get it to do membership stuff. There's actually one now that does everything for you, and it actually has the marketing plugged into to it, right? So I don't have to go say, well, what kind of email should I write to get conversions? What should I make my sales page look like? What should my opt-in page look like, right? These are literally point and click, super simple. It gives you a template and you just type in the boxes and boom, you're done. And it's all based on marketing campaigns that have made millions and millions of dollars by people who know what they're doing, right? Because I look at this and I've been doing this for years. I could take a look. I could say, well, I kind of know what is going to work. I kind of know what's going to happen. But even after doing this years, I can still learn from these things because these guys have tested a lot more traffic than I have. And we look at this and we're like, okay, well, we could do this and we could piece it together ourselves. If you look at this, you're going to look at um, your domain name, 15 bucks, about $6 a month for hosting. Autoresponder is going to be about $17. Um, merchant account obviously doesn't cost much because they're just pay as you go and that you can't get around that right that's just the way it works those are the fees for the credit cards um, so we got six bucks a month we're looking at about twenty three dollars a month now um, we got and as your list gets bigger that goes up so we're gonna look at that we have our membership site software which some of them are you know anywhere from ninety seven dollars a month to like two hundred bucks or whatever um, so we look at that and it's like okay we got that um, we got our customer management thing which is gonna be uh, probably definitely like I don't know, 300 bucks a month or something, or I think I pay 299 for mine. Okay, and again, this is this is if you're selling stuff, okay? And again, don't buy this stuff till you're ready to use it unless you have something you know is going to sell, right? If you have something that's like, hey, I'm gonna go sell this, I'm gonna do it, then go get the master tool, the all-in-one thing, and start plugging it in, okay? But if you're just out there and you're an affiliate marketer, start with the basics, go to affiliatedude.com slash tools and click on the first step, which is, hey, get your hosting and, and all this. Um, but if you're going and you wanna sell stuff, like let's say you wanna sell a book online or a physical product or a coaching club or maybe phone calls or a membership site or something like that or software, right? These are the ways to go. So again, I hope this made sense. I hope we broke it down for you and showed you how it works. Now, again, Again, if you're out there and you're looking to sell something, I can't stress enough how good these tools are. There's one in particular that I'm going to cite that just blows everything else out of the water, not even a question, sets everything up, it links to everything, and you're off to the races. And we'll actually show you how to use it as well. So again, affiliatedude.com slash tools. We have the list of tools there for you. You can go through. You can check this out and it's going to walk you step by step through everything and show you what you need, when you need it, so that you're not like the guy out there overwhelmed with all the options, right? We can go in and we can make this very easy. And that's the beauty of doing internet marketing in 2018 is the fact that 
things are easy, right? We have these integration tools that are like, hey, just put the code in there and boom, done, right? Super, super easy. And a lot of these also manage your social media and everything like that as well. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it shows you how it's going to look. Again, even at the master tool level, right, you can get started for like a hundred bucks or so, depending on the time you're watching this and what special they have. You can get started for like a hundred bucks and it does everything for you. And hey, it's easy. Um, these ones, you know, maybe you're looking at uh, six bucks, 25 bucks, maybe less than a hundred to start with those. But again, if you're gonna do it yourself and you're an affiliate marketer, take option one on affiliatedude.com slash tools, go to option one. If you are trying to sell something, a coaching program, your own physical products, starting your own sales funnel, then you wanna go with option two. All right, so really cool. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it made sense to you. Hop on over to affiliatedude.com slash tools and I'll see you in the next video.